Hey guys, what's up? Blacktive here, and doing another EDH deck tech because uh, my last one got a really good response, and uh, this one's with uh, Geist of Saint Trapped as my commander or general or whatever you want to call it, and um, it's one of my favorite, probably my favorite blue white creature ever printed. But um, yeah, this guy's really awesome. He's got hexproof, so it makes him really difficult to remove, and he attacks for a total of six damage. Uh, not six commander damage, unfortunately, but. Um, you know, 6 damage is still a pretty big chunk, and the other 4 damage he gets from the Angel basically makes up for it. So, let's get down to it. So, starting off with the mana base, of course, we've got 5 planes. And 11 islands, because this deck is much more blue heavy than it is white. Because um, most of the removal that, that I'm using in this deck is uh, white based removal. Um, get a Tundra, of course, because he duels. And a Hallowed Fountain. Uh, Seacrim Coast. Glacial Fortress. Cavernous Souls, in case you're playing against another uh, blue deck, so that you can play Cavernous Souls, Name Spear, and then they can't counter your Geists. Command Tower, because, you know, Command Tower. Uh, I got one Vivid Creek, uh, just in case. It's just kind of in there. Uh, for the Fetchlands, I've got Polluted Delta, Marsh Flats, Misty Rainforest, Scalding Tarn. Again, uh, heavier on the blue than the white because blue's a much larger portion of the deck. We've got one Evolving Wilds, Thawing Glaciers, and then an Arid Mesa, slightly misplaced in that pile of fetches and stuff. Um, then we've got a Sajiri Step, which is a really nice land. Um, I was flipping through my stuff, and I saw, and I was like, hmm. You know, that was really good in the green-white decks back in the day, so maybe just, even if you can only do it once, it's pretty nice to just give your guys a Stain Trap protection from, uh, from your opponent's team, and then you can smash them for a lot. Hopefully. Um, one Riptide Laboratory. The reason for that is uh, most of the creatures in the deck that aren't Geist are... It's like 75% wizards, um, so it helps you get a little bit more value, and I love getting value. We've got Reliquary Tower, just in case, if you have a lot of cards for some reason. Cathedral of War is really sweet because um, you're usually only attacking with just Geist, and then just giving it an extra plus one plus one for free is pretty nice. Uh, Moreland Haunt, so like, sometimes you can just let them die. And not exile him right away if you have more than high out, then you just get another token and you just get some more value. Uh, Rusted Clatchin, I don't know. I, I figured I should get a use out of it at some point in my life. So sometimes you just reinforce and just give your guys to plus one plus one counter. And then last one we have Talaria West. This one probably does. If you draw, it's going to do a lot of work because you can search up like Riptide Laboratory if you have a bunch of wizards like a Dealing Click and Play or something, or a Snapcaster Mage or Archaeomancer. Um, or you can get Sajiri Step to give him uh, protection from a color if you need him to smash him one time to kill him. Uh, Rustic Clatchin if you just want to, you know, get a plus one plus one counter on him and stuff. Or if you really need like a, a, a white source and you didn't draw one for some reason, you can always do that. So next we'll move on to the non-land portion. And we're gonna start off with uh oops. Start off with uh, some mana acceleration with the Sol Ring, of course. And we've got an Azorius Signet, because you know it's pretty good. Got a pair of planeswalkers. Um it should probably have an Ajani Call of the Pride in it. Um, but I don't have one of those anymore, unfortunately because I didn't think of making this deck until afterwards. Um, so we got Tamiyo. Uh, helps, it helps just like tap down a dude, you know. And uh, I've got Sleep in the deck, so if you tap down their team with Sleep, you can draw a bunch of cards. Jason the Mind Sculptor, because I'm playing blue and I love Jason the Mind Sculptor, so I'm playing it. Uh, you don't really need that much of a reason to play it. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic is excellent in this deck because you're focusing on one creature, so you get like some good equipment. So, for its targets, I've got Sword of Feast and Famine, which is excellent in this deck as well, because just untapping your lands and being able to play like more removal spells and stuff is awesome. Uh, Rune Channer's Pipe, because you are running so many instants and sorceries, just slapping this on a Geist of Saint Trapped is absolutely insane. 
Um, lightning Greaves, it's just kind of a throw in for like other creatures and stuff. So, like, sometimes you might just need to like put it on a Sovereigns of Lost Alara so they can't like point removal that thing. Uh, Better Skull, because sometimes you just need your guys to have plus four plus four on lifelink, you know? And Vigilance. Uh, Ring of Thune, I, Vigilance is pretty good on guys that ain't trapped alone, but um, when he gets a plus one plus one counter every turn, that's pretty sweet too. A Ring of Evosile, basically just for the plus one plus one counter every turn on Geist of St. Traff, or you can put it on, like, uh, Vendelian Click or something, and that can actually matter a lot. Uh, Moon Silver Spear, so you get two angels off of Geist, and one stays around. Um, oh, and it also gives First Strike, too. That's sweet. I didn't really notice that before, but it gives First Strike. First Strike on Geist is awesome. Uh, this gives plus two, plus two, which is good, and flying, so it's a, um, a spectral flight, an equipment form that you can search out with Stoneforge Mystic, and he becomes an angel, too, if, I don't know, doesn't really matter. Uh, so the next package I have is the Sovereigns of Lost Alara package, and this guy is awesome. It's got Exalted, so that helps, too, that gives him another plus one, plus one. And it's also a big body alone by itself, so if you need to, you can get aggressive with it as well. And its ability is a thing that is the reason why it's in here. Is uh, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, uh, you get to search out for you get to search out an enchant creature and put it on it. And because of the way that the ability works, same thing with Exalted and the Geist ability, putting in an angel token. Since it's the only one that's declared an attacker during the declare attacker step, it gets all the bonuses and you get to search it out and you still get the 4-4 angel attacking. It's like it's the same way that uh, Hero of Blade Hold um, gives its tokens plus one plus one from the battle cry as well as putting them into play. So with that I have a, a ghostly touch which is kind of interesting. It allows you to tap down like a blocker if your opponent doesn't have too many creatures out and you don't really need more power on him. Like if he's doing work on his own like that you can just get a ghostly touch. Uh, Spirit Mantle basically makes him unblockable, gives him another plus one plus one bonus, which is nice. And Spectral Flight, which is plus two plus two and flying, so it gets more. So it's another thing of evasion and more power and toughness. Uh, Eldrazi's Conscription should be in this deck, but I don't have one right now. So I've, if I like the way this deck plays more, I'm probably going to get one. The next we have some Utility Creatures. Augur of Bulls, because there's so many instant sorceries in this deck, it doesn't... it it hits most of the time. And plus it's a wizard, too. Uh, Dungeon guys, another good way to, like, keep your guys' same trap evasive. Like, you get tapped down, like, their biggest threat and just keep it tapped. And it's also got a decent body on its own, too. Snapcaster Mage, for flashing back all those, like, path exiles and stuff. Sweet. Vendelian Click, pretty staple card in blue, I think. Um, if you've got way too many lands, you can use it on yourself. Just ditch a land and then draw, like, gas, hopefully. And it's also a wizard as a Snapcaster Mage. Now, this guy is awesome in the deck, especially if you have Riptide Laboratory out. So, like, in my quick gold fishing, I had Sleep in my yard, I had Archaeomancer out, and I had Riptide Laboratory. So, basically, you just win the game because they can't ever block. So he can also return whatever you need, and unlike Snapcaster Mage, he doesn't exile it after you recast it. So this guy is all value all the time. Uh, Spell Twine, I really liked in my Grixis deck. It's not as good in this deck, obviously, but you know sometimes he can just do cool things. Ponder because Ponder's awesome, and sometimes you need to shuffle because you don't need too many lands in this deck. Uh, Brainstorm, because it's the best card in Legacy, so you might as well play it in here, too. <clears throat> if you don't know why Pact of Fiction's in a blue deck, you, you should go study uh, go study some magic, so you can just uh, have a turn Pact of Fiction for the win. Ooh. Gush, because, you know, you don't, you don't need more than three lands in this deck, like, basically ever, so you can just, like, Re when you have like five lands, you can just return two islands and then just cast this for free and draw two removal spells. Uh, Force of Will, we're moving into our uh, counterspell package here. Uh, starting off with Force of Will because there's a ton of blue cards in the stack. So you can cast it for free a lot of the time. 
uh, Reman because this is a much more of a tempo deck. So you don't need so much of a hard counter as you do like to just stop something for like a couple turns and then you get to draw a card as well. Cryptic Command, also awesome because you can usually cast it on turn four. And then you can tap down their team, draw a card, bounce something, you know, just get in there with Geist. Then Power Sync, I mean, it's all right. It's not bad. Um, it's really excellent if you've got, if you're just like flooded and they cast something, you just really need to counter something. It's also really good in the early game because in EDH you tap out a lot. So you can just do it for one sometimes and just get people. Logic Knot, most of the time it's going to be just a straight up counter spell because of the delve. Uh, Model the Mixture, also really awesome. Counters like a removal spell. Um, you can also transmute it for things like you can get um, Rune Chanter's Pike, you can get uh, Spirit Mantle, Spectral Flight, Snapcaster Mage if you need to. All kinds of good stuff. It's just sweet. Cancel because eh, you need to counter spells. Good old fashioned counter spell because, well, of course. Uh, negate because most of the stuff that you really need to counter is going to be non creature spells. Delay is excellent because it really, it's basically remand, but it makes them take another three turns to cast it, basically. So, there's that. Pact of Negation is excellent if you just need one turn to kill someone and they cast like a fog or what have you and you just counter and then you win. Counter Lash, uh, much more lackluster in this deck than Grixis, but I mean, you can still cast like a free removal spell off of it and stuff too. Now for the removal section, we have a repeal because repeal is amazing. Sometimes you just need to like bounce an ar your own Archaeomancer or Augur Bolas or whatever, and you get to draw cards, so that's added value. Um, good old fashioned unsummon, you know, just bounce a dude, getting some more hits. Uh, I've got a Day of Judgment um, just to reset the board. Like if they play out like a whole bunch of dudes to block, you can actually just blow them all up. Uh, saving Grasp, mostly to like get more value off of Archaeomancer or Snapcaster Major than Dealing Click, things like that. Um, you can also use it to save a Geist if you need to. Uh, Apostle's Blessing, uh, just to give your Geist protection from a color and smash some more face. Uh, Vapor Snag, because it's unsummoned and they lose an extra point of damage, extra point of life. Now Parallax Wave, this card is awesome. You drop it on like turn four, you just start, you just get like three free attacks in with this card. It's awesome. I've got a planner cleansing because, you know, just in case. Uh, sudden disappearance is basically the same thing except it's a lot easier to cast. Um, so yeah, it gets you in a free attack and it doesn't make you lose, the, lose things either. Uh, banishing stroke because you know, it's it's like, usually most of the time you're just going to be casting it off the top to remove a blocker, and then it's basically just the best, the best like, source of plowshares or whatever, ever. Uh, Faith Shield, um, same thing as Apostle's Blessing. If you're really low on life, it helps save you as well. Uh, Celestial Purge, there, there's a lot of people playing red in my area, so I figured I'd throw in one of those. Uh, Oblivion Ring. Good old fashioned Oblivion Ring. Uh, Vanishment, basically the same thing as uh, Banishment. Just to stop a thing for a turn or two. And you can, it's cost also isn't terribly prohibitive that if you draw it when you don't need to use it, that you can cast it anyway. Sleep, this guy ends games, period. It's been doing that for years in limited formats. And when you've got a Geist of Saint Traft, it's pretty good. Path to Exile, of course. Um, I can't find my Source of Player Slayers for some reason. So, it should be in there. Um, got a Restoration Angel because I love Restoration Angel. Gets you more value on like every single dude that you've got. Um, case is just kind of in there as a buff so that if like you really need to like just start putting counters on guys to St. Traft, you can do that. He can also be massive on his own. Now, this card I really like. 
and it's it's a bit of a griefer card, but it's really, really good in this deck, because you only need, like, a couple mana to win the game anyway, so if you just, like, if you Armageddon and you just keep two dual lands or something like that, you can still win the game. You can, if you, like, you only need to drop, like, a couple more mana to just play guy to replay guys from the command zone again if you need to or what have you and you know each player chooses from their lands that he or she controls a land of each basic land type and then sacrifices the rest i mean if you're you're playing two color so you choose your two lands your opponents like if they're playing two color then they choose two if they're only playing one color they only get one land that is awesome this is an excellent tempo card for this deck because you get to keep your geist around so if you bounce their dudes like earlier and they haven't replayed them, like you bounce them at the end of their turn, and then you cast this on your turn, you're just smashing them for like two or three turns easy. Uh, temporal Mastery, because sometimes you just need an extra turn. Um, it's hard cast cost is really high, but thankfully you have Brainstorm and stuff in your deck. Uh, Hero of Blade Hold, because Hero of Blade Hold loves teaming up with Geist's Aim Traft and uh, causing a ton of mayhem. And the last, second last card, uh, Tolerant Sky Summoner. Um, considering the amount of instants and sorceries I had in this deck, I was like, well, if the guy's plan doesn't go well, you can actually just swarm them with uh, Tolerant. And the last card is a Staff of Win because it's just awesome. Gives you some extra cards, can help deal an extra couple points of damage. Uh, so, yeah, so there's my uh, Guess the Saint Traff Commander deck. And I'll see you guys later. I'm working on a Jared one. So when I complete that one, I'll show that to you. See you guys later. Peace.